Um, hello again, YouTube. Uh, this is Gardening Guy 97, also known as Armando. And here I am at my garden. Um, last video, I didn't show this part of my garden. It's the raised bed garden portion. And uh, yeah, like because last time I only showed you the asparagus and also the pumpkin plants. But right here I am with the gar the main garden. And I'll show you uh, around what I have and also harvest some stuff that I have. Um, I'll need um, a quick update on the pumpkin plant. It where it used to grow over there, a cold front came, and so there's the pumpkin plant's no longer tangling itself around the tree. So unfortunately, I had to uh, cut the pumpkin from the pumpkin vine, which died from a uh, from a near frost um, as a result of the cold front. And so right now, it's extremely cold. Uh, the warm season has ended even here for the south. So here is my garden, and here's the remains of the pumpkin plant. Not much of what's remained. Uh, starting to decompose. So, first plants, a little tour, is right here. This is garlic. I planted this um, October and it's doing well because it started rising up. It took like about a month for it to rise up, but finally it's rising up, so I'm kind of glad. And so, it's making great progress. Supposedly, it's supposed to grow in the spring. You have to plant them in the fall, and then with the cold, they like the cold a lot. And with the cold, they start shooting out these things in the spring. But they did, the, they did that in the fall, and it's normal. Um, well, they'll just do is they'll probably die from frost, and then um, and then it'll come back up in the spring. And so over here is a little mini potato plant. I planted a potato because I was just, oh, let's see if it comes out, hopefully. And yep, it did. It came out. And then over here is the other garlic. This um, this isn't the first potato plant I have. I'll show you the other one. Um, I actually actually recently harvested one before making the video. Um, so there's where the potato plant used to be. I harvested it um, just to see if I had any potatoes before. Like you know, I showed it on YouTube and there weren't any potatoes. So I'm gonna look around here for a bit after afterwards to see if there are any more potatoes. And over here is sage. Yep, I planted this, this plant sage, rosemary, oregano over here, and uh, thyme isn't doing that well, but here it is, thyme. I planted these in June, um, and they're doing quite well. I'll harvest them, I don't know, around spring, because I want them to grow all over the place before I harvest them. So here it is, sage, and it's doing nice, I especially. And over here are radishes, yeah. They haven't started bulbing though. That's alright. I mean, it looks really healthy this row, especially. And they haven't started. Some of them are starting to make bulbs. But yeah, this is my first year doing rashes, by the way, and it's been alright. I mean, they haven't started bulbing necessarily to the extent where I want them, but it's alright. And here are. And then I have some random lettuce plants over here, like this one. This is lettuce. This is, a little seedling still. Hopefully by spring it'll start growing into a full lettuce plant. I did um, lettuce last year and it did turn out quite well. Um, I planted it just like this directly in the ground in the fall and it looked like it wasn't going to grow at all but then in spring it started like growing a lot so by spring I'm expecting a harvest. And then here are carrots. Right here they're growing extremely healthy. I never had this much luck with carrots because last year I planted these and well it didn't grow as well. None of them grew, there's only like two or three plants and still the root was very skinny. But hopefully by spring or I don't know in the middle of the winter you might get some carrots and they're thick enough to eat. So yeah, it's my garden. It's still small actually because I don't want to start off huge and like have a lot to manage because anyways I have I'm so busy like I can't manage like a huge garden but this is my garden for right now and so yeah um, so over here I forgot to show you potato plants matured potato plants they're already like past their prime though they're dead basically extremely dead and so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest these two potato plants. I harvested over there and I did that just to make sure that there uh, was some potatoes. So, But I saw that there were like a couple of decent sized potatoes. So 
gonna harvest this right now. And so I'm gonna first carefully pull these out of the ground so I get any potatoes attached to it. Oh, uh, fortunately, no. Well, oh, oh what? You, you see there are some little potato buds. But I guess the potato is somewhere. Oh, here it is. I found it. Right here. First potato. That's actually decent sized. Yeah. Hopefully there's more than one potato in there. You have to like search around there because there might be more that detach the pl from the plants. But there's the first potato. Let me pull this one out. And then I'll search through this over here. Um, this is kind of decent sized. Yeah, I'll take that one. And there's bound to be more in here. There is... Oh, this is... Oh yeah, here's another one. Oh. Thing is, if some insects got to it first. Because it's munched at some places. That's alright. Let me see if I can find more potatoes. So, oh, I think I saw something. Some, sometimes the potatoes, oh, the potatoes get eaten by insects. Oh, here are more. Awesome. Getting some good harvest over here. I wasn't expecting much anyways from the potatoes. Because I planted these in the summer so they could give a fall harvest. And usually fall harvests aren't as huge as the spring ones. But I guess like for a fall harvest, I think this is good. There's bound to be more. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep looking because it's really hard to find them because they're hidden somewhere in the soil. So I'll keep looking, digging around, and I'll check with you guys later. And I'll show you the final harvest, okay? Alright. Alright, well, here's a little mini harvest that I got from my garden. It's not really impressive, but it, this came from only two or three plants. So for two or three plants, I guess it's kind of all right for a beginner. Um, so here it is, first of all. The biggest potato is about the size of a average potato, so that's good. An average red potato. And the smallest one being extremely a little small, but it's still edible, though. So there it is. And also I pulled out some um, radishes. This one started a split, but I mean, it's, it's the biggest radish I've had so far, actually. It started a split, but I guess it's, it's still edible, though, so. It's gonna be spicier, I know, because the older the root, the more spicier it is, but also the more chewable, I guess. And over here, it started to, like, form. It's because the thing is, I didn't want it to, like, leave it too much in the ground, or else the roots start getting a bit weird-shaped, and they start drying out, and they start tasting horrible. So that's why I took it out. Um, it's best to take them out like when they're like that, rather than when they're like huge and but old. And here are also a little asparagus thinlings that I thinned from the garden. So I'm not what am I saying? Did I say asparagus? <laughs> I meant uh, cilantro, cilantro um, seedlings. So there they are. That's a little mini harvest. I mean, it's not you know humongous. But it's decent sized, I guess. So yeah, there they are. A uh, little mini harvest in the fall. So yeah, came from here. So there it is. Alright, and one more thing to show you, but I'm going to do it indoors since I'm freezing out here. It's a bit cold, so my hands are getting numb. So I'll show you something inside and also a little update on the pumpkin. So I'll show you that. Alright, you're back inside under the safety of um, the heater. Uh, away from the cold, so here I have quite some stuff to show you um, that's happening inside because not only is there stuff outside, but it's also inside. So here is, if it's, as you remember, that pumpkin that was growing from a pumpkin vine from the last video. Um, the thing is, uh, as I said previously in this video, that this, uh, the pumpkin vine died from a cold front. So here it is. I had to cut it because then the frost would um, unfortunately kill it, 
and right now it is it's still green. I mean, it's starting to yellow a bit, if you could see from here. Um, it's starting to yellow a bit, it's starting to turn light green, but still, um, in order for your pumpkins to ripen inside, so if, like, still the method that I taught you about pruning a pumpkin doesn't work, and, like, the frost still comes before your pumpkin matures, what you do is you cut it from the vine as a last resort, and just bring it inside in a warm, um, in, in warm indoors, and then leave it in the sunlight, because it needs sunlight in order for the pumpkin to turn orange. So, I... Uh, I haven't left it in the sunlight actually, it's just been left it in the heater. But I'm going to start leaving it at the window so it doesn't get that much light, but still, some light is better than nothing. And also over here, I have onions. These are little onion seedlings, and once they get pencil, pencil thick, I'll start transplanting them in the garden. Uh, probably around December, hopefully. So yeah, the, this one's doing great. All of these are doing great actually, and I can't wait to plant them. Um, this still has some time to go. So there they are, and the potatoes over here, just to show you like how much there are in total. And so the last thing I want to show you is that I'm going to start um, a lettuce plant indoors under growing lights. So I first want to show you what I'm going to do. So here's a bowl with dirt. It's just, uh, it's already pre-moistened and stuff. And I have here a packet of seeds, uh, lettuce, black seed, and Simpson variety. So, what I'm just going to do is sprinkle some on the soil and make a little hole in it. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you because I wanted to show you um, the start of this plant. And I'll be making um, update progresses on this plant um, throughout December. And then hopefully like until we get harvest. I, was also, I also wanted to plant some cilantro. But I ran out of cilantro seeds, so I'm going to have to buy some at Home Depot sometime. But I'm also going to plant that in a separate bowl, and I'm going to show you um, the progress of that plant too. But for right now, here's our first plant, lettuce. Um, I'll tell you all about how long it took to germinate and also how it's progressing. And I'll also plant this cilantro plant later. I won't show it in the video though. I'll plant it um, and show you the progress of that too. So, yep. Yeah the lettuce over here, and I have the radishes over here, I already cut them up. You can eat the radishes and greens too, too. but the thing is that they're a bit hairy, so if you... And it's also a bit um, spicy in a way. So yeah, um, I know my harvest, like for example the potatoes, wasn't that good along with the radishes, but as a beginner gardener, if you're starting to be... if you're be, um, beginning, you should take into account that, well, because you're a beginner, you're prone to have like a lot of failures, especially during your first year. This is my second year of gardening, basically, and it's I'm getting there. Uh, like these potatoes, I mean, I couldn't imagine like getting one of these. And it's the average sized potato, and I'm pretty proud of that. It's a huge progress from like last year, since I only got the little, little tiny potatoes like these. Like that's it. <laughs> that's like the average size of these. But I got this, so I'm actually quite proud of it. And so, if you're starting to be, if you're beginning like gardening, it's a new thing to you. Don't expect like huge results, like oh, I'm gonna make the hugest garden in the world and stuff. Because this is something that you don't learn from books necessarily. It takes experience. So, um, well, it, with the years, it'll get better. And I know like this is my first year growing pumpkin, and it went really, really well. I'm extremely proud of it, the size of it is about the uh, medium sized pumpkin, so that's a huge bonus. You're going to have failures and positive things in your garden. This is a huge win, and the radishes, for example, are a huge fail. Um, so, yeah, don't worry if your garden isn't um, necessarily coming out well. With experience, you will start seeing results. Well, this, that's, this concludes the end of my video. Please subscribe and like this video, and also share it if you like. And I appreciate it um, for all of your likes and comments, and please ask any questions. I'm barely beginning, so uh, uh, hopefully in, in the future I'll see some questions or comments. So yeah, uh, thank you so much, and have a great day.